what is up everyone out there in the world of YouTube and it is me your buddy Nessa better known as great love 91 on Twitter and Instagram now holy hell by the sound of that intro you guys know what I'm going to talk about or if you read the title of this video you know what I'm going to be talking about it's 2019 and honestly I haven't heard that song cult of personality since we did a podcast earlier in the year when CM Punk showed up at some random indie event wearing a mask and people thought, oh, he's coming back to wrestling. And then after that, kind of nothing happened. And to be honest, I never thought I would play that song again on this show, or not show, but YouTube channel or my podcast. But here we are, November 13th, 2019, and it is happening. And that is because yesterday on WWE Backstage, CM Punk showed up alongside uh, Samoa Joe, Booker T, Paige, and Renee Young, and he came out. Uh, pa uh, Renee Young said she had a surprise, and Cult of Personality hit, and I think uh, Paige was even like, is this a rib? Like, is this really happening? And he comes out through the doors, and everybody kind of freaks out, and he looks at the camera, and he says, uh, when you think they have all the answers, I changed the culture, the culture, and he was like, I'll see you next week, or I'll be back next week, something to that extent, and the wrestling world has blown up because of it, it is all anyone is talking about this morning, in fact, when I, I got a text from my friend Trevor, so shout out to Trevor Decker, feel free to check him out if you want to, uh, look up news with, uh, the entertainment industry as far as music, movies, TV, all that stuff, trevordecker.com. Shout out to you, because you were the one that texted me and said, Oh my God, CM Punk is home. And I clicked the link, and that link led me to the video that I just was now talking about. And my Twitter was blowing up, and it was just absolutely insane. Um, I don't know, this is, this is a, a shock to the wrestling world, because... It, it's funny because on Twitter this morning, there are people that are losing their shit about it and they're super excited. And then there's people that are like, it's just a role on WWE backstage. It doesn't mean that he's going to get back in the ring. And then there's people that kind of just really don't care. But to be honest, for me, as someone who kind of walked away from CM Punk after he left WWE, because to be honest, the way he left... Uh, put a bad taste in my mouth because of the way that he, like, trash-talked the business and called it fake and was like, you know, that he doesn't really care about wrestling and, like, the way that he handled it, walking out without finishing his contract. Like, I've said it before on the previous podcast that uh, in comparison to him and, you know, John Moxley, I appreciate the way John Moxley at the time, Dean Ambrose, handled the situation rather than the way Punk did. But that's neither here nor there, because that is not what we're here to talk about. The fact is, the man showed up on a talk show, pretty much, and has generated so much buzz within the last 24 hours. And here's the thing, whether or not this means that, you know, a return, an in-ring return for him is intimate, um, it's still a big deal, because it's like, we never would have thought he would even be affiliated with WWE in some capacity. Now, there's those people out there that are saying, like, he's not actually signed with WWE. He's actually signed with Fox TV to just be an analysis. It was Fox that wanted him on, and apparently WWE gave them their blessing. But here's the thing. While that may be true, yes, he might be contracted with Fox and purely Fox, but the fact of the matter is, he is on a show where they discuss WWE programming and he's affiliated with WWE talent. So in a way, to me, this kind of shows that um, not all bridges have been burned, so to speak, and that he is willing to possibly work with WWE in another capacity at some point. You know, he's been on numerous talk shows where he talked about, like, if he ever came back to WWE, they would have to give him a big bag, meaning cash money. But I don't know, just the fact that he is affiliated with WWE in some capacity has gotten people to run wild and go crazy and lose their minds. And again, as someone who walked away from CM Punk, 
uh, you know, after he departed the WWE. I'm not gonna lie, even I was excited. I saw the video and my heart did this like really weird pitter pat thing. And I was just like, why is my heart feeling this way? I felt kind of bad and almost guilty because I was like, I shouldn't be excited. But I think the reason why I was excited is because we never thought it would happen. We know we fantasy booked how he would show up in WWE again for years. For years, people have chanted CM Punk, CM Punk, CM Punk, and people have hoped and, and prayed, and like, we got him back. Like, he's actually home. It may not be in the way that we want him back, but it's something. It's a start, and I think that any wrestling fan would say that the summer of punk, if you will, you know, the whole, you know, stuff with like the Nexus and then leading up to like his contract expiring and then that big match with John Cena at Money in the Bank. I think a lot of people would say or argue rather that that was one of the best times in WWE. That was one of the times where it was cool to be a wrestling fan and it felt important and it felt like we were a part of something. Not to say that we haven't had moments like that going forward, but that was one of the ones that kind of kick-started those types of moments. And I think that's why it's such a big deal for so many people, because they re remember that and they resonate with those feelings. And I think that's why, even though I'm sort of anti-CM Punk, if you will, I think that's why even I'm excited to see where this goes. Sure, he may be just an analysis on Fox TV, but again, to me, him working with other WWE superstars and being affiliated with something that has WWE on their logos, to me, that, that means that, like I said, bridges have not all been burned. There's, there's something there. There's something happening. And you know Vince, he always believes in second chances, especially if there is money to be made. You know, there was arguments that CM Punk would go to AEW, but apparently... CM Punk didn't like the way that AEW reached out to him via text message. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the hell's happening. But all I know is that this is a huge deal and people are just talking about it. Uh, one of the interesting things coming out of uh, yesterday's big news, if you will, is I noticed that a majority of people on my Twitter timeline, the minute that CM Punk showed up on WWE television, people started saying, well, what about his wife? What about AJ Lee? And people, like, instantly started fan fantasy booking AJ Lee versus Sasha Banks, AJ Lee versus Becky Lynch, AJ Lee versus Alexa Bliss, one that I personally threw out there, AJ Lee versus Candice LeRae. I mean, I don't know. Will we see AJ Lee back? I, I read a tweet that someone said somewhere deep down... Uh, what did it say? Somewhere in the in the deep down city of Chicago, Illinois, somewhere AJ Lee is dusting off her Chuck Taylors, and I was like, oh my god, could you imagine? Like, I don't know, for me personally, I've always kind of been pro AJ Lee, I won't lie. Um, when she left, kind of, to follow her husband, I was kind of like, oh, okay, I don't really uh, agree with you, like, kind of, in a sense, throwing your career away for, for a dude, but I mean, it was, her, you know, that's her husband, but me, personally, I always thought that she had more to give the WWE. I think she left at a time where, arguably, she was the most overstar in WWE, as well as her and, and Caitlyn, and I think she kind of felt like she couldn't do anything more. But it's like now women's wrestling is so different and it's given us such a platform and I feel like she would be right at home with them. Um, and I think that a lot could come out of it if she decided to come back to the WWE. Because a lot of people said, you know, the only reason why she left is because she's being loyal to her husband. But I mean, like I said, regardless of if he's a Fox analysis, he is working with WWE in some capacity. So, maybe she might come back? I don't know, but I would be here for it. I, I definitely would. I would love to see some dream matches that everybody kind of envisioned but never actually got to see. So, I mean, I don't know. There's just a lot of stuff to digest this morning. And not only that, but as a wrestling fan and knowing that Survivor Series is going to be in Chicago, Illinois, you can't help but wonder, is the straight edge you know, superstar 
gonna show up. I mean, there's still an open spot on NXT's War Games. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he shows up. You know, I, I don't know. We'll see. But all I know is that as a wrestling fan, I'm excited. Whether you love or hate CM Punk, whether you're indifferent like myself, you cannot deny the impact that he had in professional wrestling. And whether you're wondering about what this Fox bill means for him or you're someone that like kind of just is ignoring all the stuff on the timeline, I know that every single one of us cares in some capacity. And if you don't, I think you're just blind to yourself, to be completely honest. Because I know, like I said, as someone who's not even really a fan of CM Punk, I'm intrigued, I'm curious, and I cannot wait to see how this plays out. It might lead to nothing, but it might lead to something huge. Either way, I'm excited. Please let me know what you guys think. Drop down comments below, or feel free to hit me up on my Twitter again, at GreatLove91. And let's talk about this. Are you excited? Are you a huge punk fan? If you are, congrats to you. Your boy is back on WWE television. What is next? What happens now? I cannot wait to see this. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, excuse me, I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick video. And I hope you guys will enjoy wrestling tonight because we've got NXT, we've got AEW Dynamite. So whichever one you're watching, if you're watching both, enjoy the hell out of it because right now it's awesome to be a wrestling fan. There's so many options out there and it's so fantastic. So, you guys enjoy your Wednesday, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. I have a lot of stuff lined up for Survivor Series weekend, so if you want to keep on the up and up with all of those things, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to subscribe to my podcast, which is the exact same name of this YouTube channel, Squared Circle Addicts. You can find it on Anchor, you can find it on Breaker, you can find it on Spotify, you can find it on Apple, you can find it on Google Podcasts. Um, I have some really cool stuff happening, like I said, for Survivor Series weekend. A few podcasts lined up with a few very special people, it, like friends, nobody like famous or anything, but just people that I feel that are going to bring a new like perspective to the show, if you will. So if you're down for that sort of thing, please like and subscribe, all of the things. But until then, take care, stay safe, stay happy, but most importantly, stay addicted to the square circle. Later, guys.